All right, all right. What is up, ladies and gents? Here, man. I am super mad. Much like Missy Elliott is super fly. Much like uh, what's her name? What's her damn name? How can I, how am I? Fit? Much like Nicki Minaj is super bass. I'm super damn mad. Uh, so actually, I I don't think I can tell you. I don't think I, I mean I don't think I can show you. Uh, but oh wait, maybe I can. Can I go to a cheat? I gotta actually use the mouse for this. Achievements, where are you? Characters, where are you at? Oh, never mind, it doesn't. So, on my Steam account, this right here, this collect 15 monster logs achievement, I've actually done. I have done that, I have gotten that, and I also found the survivor. Some other enemy, basically, to. Oh, wait, might be over here, eh? Somewhere around here, beat the game five times, not that one. Clear a path for the survivor, that one. I did both of those in my last run. But unfortunately, why can I not why can I not click back to the main menu? I guess I have to do that because that makes perfect sense. Um In my last run, I got both of those. I have 13 monster logs right now, so obviously getting 15 is very easy. It's, it's easy to get two in one run. And then I cleared a path for the survivor and I unlocked that dude as well. But unfortunately, my game had too much going on and it actually crashed. I crashed the game in the final boss fight. As you can see, I was using some artifacts. I'm going to turn those off. We're not going to use any artifacts. And I'm going to try to win with... Who is... Wait, who is actually... Oh, the sniper. That's why I don't like the sniper. I'm going to try and use Acrid. And we'll see what we can do here. But yeah, I'm very. I can't believe that happened. It cra I was hoping it might just save the progress anyway. Oh, they might not actually die from that. They will, however, die from that. And if it, I help out the process, even better. But I have now beaten the game officially once. I was about to beat it again. I would have won that one. I was on the final stage of Providence, and he was down to about thirty thousand health. And, like, the frame rate had been bad the entire time. The frame rate kept dipping down. Eventually, the frame rate hit uh, 17 frames per second instead of 60. <laughs> and finally, it killed me. I looked into it. I looked into, like, causes of the game crashing. It turns out I should avoid the item called Spike Strips. As if, wow, that is an extremely strong initial get right there. How am I using that? It's not going to reach. But yeah, apparently the item called Spike Strips. Once you get on the later stages, you know, the more enemies there are, the more you're getting kind of hit. Uh, it just, bad things happen, and it causes a lot of lag, and it can cause the game to crash, and that's what it did to me. It crashed my game. So I need to avoid those at all costs. Ooh, I'm gonna grab the mon- I'm gonna- that monster tooth right there, I want it. That banner up there, I- actually, you know what, I'm not gonna get the banner. I am going to get- Humana, 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 humana. Shit. I don't know if this actually hurts him. Looks like it does. Oops. Oh, wow, he died. Well, that's a good start. This is the kind of both the benefit and the problem with Acrid. Acrid is seems like I may be entirely wrong, but he seems like an extremely strong early game character. Where like as you see right now, I'm kind of just blowing everything up pretty easily. No real challenge to anything. Versus uh oh, actually that item on the far left, that one right there, is the spike strip that I need to avoid at all costs. Yeah, I feel like Acrid is an extremely strong early initial game character. And then the more you play, the less effective he gets. And he gets to a point where he's kind of more like a support character. Where you're getting these uh, the damage ticks from a bunch of things, as you can see. With his skills, the... Uh, in order from left to right, the left one is this thing. He just shoots a stream of that. It stuns on hit. I am actually not going to get that yet because I want. To, actually, I'm just going to ignore that entirely up there. Um, 
It just does damage and it stuns enemies on hit. The second one is just his regular attack, this thing. It hits everybody that's near him, though, so that's very useful. And then the third one... Let me just grab this chest real quick, and then I'll run over there. Wow, that's like... Oh, never mind, that's not that good. Is this thing. It leaves behind a trail of something. Something harmful. Oh, I'm glad I didn't grab that banner now. And enemies that stand in it get hit. And then the last one, the most important one, is that bad boy. So, that, like, it hits an enemy and it just does continual damage over time but and it's useful obviously but the biggest bonus to it is that it spreads to nearby enemies so if you're just running around you got a horde of shit following you you just turn around real quick pop that off and just watch the health of enemies just quickly dissipate all right so that was a fairly uneventful pretty easy first stage i guess that's what i get for not i should play on monsoon because it's gotten to the point where, like, I can basically reliably get to the final stage of the game pretty simply. But, uh, after that, not to the final stage, but to the second to last stage. Alright, so let me actually, before I trigger this imp stuff, go and spread that all around so they'll hurt themselves. Oh, it's also another thing I forgot to mention. Oh, well, how useless is that? That one is less useless, but as a feature to accurate, unfortunately, I'll talk about in a second. Um, I can basically reliably get to either the last stage or the second to last stage. And then from there, it kinda, it's kind of luck dependent. You know, what items have I gotten? Do I have a really powerful build or not that determines whether or not I get through and win? Um, so I kind of should play Monsoon because the early levels tend to be pretty uneventful and easy which is actually why I uh, I was using those relics because it made things more interesting I don't know why I just use that up here when there's only one enemy I'm gonna go toe to toe with him right now but yeah getting infusion that early is very very useful for those of you that may not know anything about this game, infusion as an effect, um, every single time I get a kill, I gain one health. Permanently. It's not a, uh, what did they get hit by? I'm, I'm not actually sure why they were taking damage right there. Oh, maybe bleed. Bleed would do it. Ah, nope. I ain't get shit. I'm gonna go stand over my level up thing. Cause those- oh shit. What a bastard. You're a bastard. That's what I have to say to you. And not an inglorious one. For those Tarantino fans amongst you out there in the world. Not a gentleman one for you. I don't know, I guess fantasy book series dudes out there. What the hell? I'm trying to actually... Scott Lynch is his name. Ha! I didn't even have to look at the book to remember it. Uh, He's an author. Very good. If you're interested in fantasy books at all, kind of like gritty... Uh, it's not really necessarily... God damn, you son of a bitch. Okay, that's not terrible. I, however, should... I'm not going to wait around that long. To get back, I might actually die here. I'm gonna stick to it. Play a game of chicken. Magma worm, that is unfortunate. I don't like the magma worm. I greatly dislike fighting the magma worm. Unfortunately, I mean, not unfortunately. Fortunately, I have figured out how to abuse the magma worm and not really take damage from it. And that is by chilling up here. Because it, it only does damage around the impact zone. So, if there's no impact zone for it to come through, 
can't really be doing damage, and I have almost died. Thankfully, it did die. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stand here and let them hurt themselves. Huh, run! <laughs> Run! Oh, I need to infect them now. Boom! And now watch this shit cause havoc while I kill this little bitch up here. Let me actually go create more. Yeah, buddy! That's definitely one of the major benefits to Accurate is the fact that he is... He can be so devastating while you maintain safety somewhere else. God, I dropped a lot of banners right there. Huh. Um, I might go. I might go for the mystery item in the middle there. I might not grab anything at all. Yeah, you know what? No, I'll grab the piggy bank. Mo can't really complain about money over time. It's not a huge amount, but eventually, it will get me back the money that I spent right there. If I could get speed up, though. If I could get speed up, I'd be happy. That's not bad. Gives me a double jump. Can't complain about a double jump, especially with how useful jumping is in this game. Like, honestly, for the majority of attacks in this game, how do you avoid that? What do you do about that? What's the answer to that particular situation in which that attack occurs? Jump. You avoid so many things by jumping. It's hilarious. So it really is actually a very viable tactic. So you may be wondering yourself, why does it keep using that skill? It speeds up my movement for a little bit. Uh, he moves faster when he's in that section, and also while he's laying it down, I guess he just can. He counts as being in that section. All right, so let's. Oops, shit! I didn't mean to do that. I want to. Well, actually, let's just dip down a little bit further. Yeah, damn it! I knew it. I'll grab this canister first, then. I want to go over and grab that chest. There's almost always a chest there. I can't remember there have been there being a time when there was not a chest there. But what are you gonna do? This is why I want movement speed up. I just that's my I think my general problem with roguelikes is that uh, in the very beginning, like almost all of them possess some form of movement bonus so you can move faster but you start out just a little bit too slow if they would just start you out on like the level 2 version of movement I would be happy oh I'm happy anyway I'm not gonna spend more money on that one two tries is generally good for those unless you have like an unlimited unless you have an excess of money which I do not have at the moment Two tries on those is generally good because yeah as you can see there's another chest there make sure I have enough for the rest of the features of the zone before I spend it all on a gamble fuck you oh so I didn't even mention it the reason why with acrid a lot of stuff is not terribly useful is because a lot of the at passive bonuses, like that one, the critical hit bonus, um, the... Let me see, what else do I have here? I don't think I actually have anything else that falls under. But there are a lot of features, like increased attack speed, um, bonus critical hit chance, a bunch of stuff like that, which actually doesn't really affect him. Because it doesn't affect the ticks on any of his passive things, it only affects this one his normal attack which you don't really use that often so that's why a lot of active things aren't terribly useful what is this killing an enemy summons a ghost that's not bad that is very useful ghosts provide additional damage and you can never complain about additional damage although now it's taking us a while so this may this may start to get a little bit difficult 
because generally you kind of want to hope to try for five minutes a stage. Somewhere around there. Ow. Ow. I'm gonna hang in there. I probably should not have hung in there. That hurt. That hurt quite a bit, actually. Oh, that is a miss. I am hoping to get uh, enough money and some free time. Very useful. I know you probably can't read that, so that gives an op a, the potential for elite uh, spawns to drop items when they die. Can't really complain about free items, can I? Can you? die and quit shooting rockets oh shit that's right I forgot I turned all this shit off let me go high I'm sorry let me actually use scale 2 for now as well because oh you know y'all probably can't hear that either shit that's my bad I'm so sorry I forgot I turned that down for myself this entire time you couldn't even hear the damn game hi there what up about that because that's still very good but damn I wanted that Tesla coil the Tesla coil gives you a passive buff makes it so that uh their electricity surrounds you and so any enemies that are around you electricity kind of surges and does damage to them it's incredibly good 297 we can almost afford that actually this dude see that's Tesla coil right there Oh god, that hurt. Oh, that's right, I forgot I had that! I'm going to abuse the hell out of this. As you can see, I'm actually doing damage whenever I land on anything. And so even though a bunch of stuff is joining me for my rave in the sky... I'm doing damage to every single uh, thing that I land on. So I'm actually doing <laughs> basically everything just by continually doing this. I guess the only problem with ghosts now is I don't know what's ghost and what's not. I guess the ghosts don't have uh, HP values over their heads. I wasted that. Let me go start doing some damage to the Imp Overlord here. Look like I give a shit. Alright, so I got 16 more enemies to deal with. We can get the hell out of here. Oops. Okay, I should be giving the shit down. Oops, I shot that the wrong way. Let me get on the other side of them so it actually does a little bit of damage. Cool. Now I got a triple jump. Oh my god. 
that was a lot of damage in one place. Woohoo! Alright, so one more little bit of exploration again. Wanna go find everything. That way leads to a relic, but uh, I already have that relic, so no need to go there. It's pretty useful. Again, more damage output. Sometimes there's a. Uh, this is where the relic ends up being. But oh, actually, I have no idea how I do that relic challenge with Acrid. Because you have to hit a bunch of buttons uh, in a certain amount of time to spawn the um, to spawn the relic down there, and I don't know since you have to get so close with relic to actually hit shit. I don't. I'm not even sure if he could manage to do it. I still haven't gotten any kind of movement bonus. I got my triple jump, I guess. fourth jump. I saw it and I went for it because I, I love having it, but I was hoping I could get a movement bonus there. Alright, stuff we already have. There actually was one with a movement bonus that in the last one. Oh, yes, that was exactly it. It doesn't really help me with enemies, but it allows me to move faster. Like as you can see right now, when you're not in the middle, when you have not done an attack recently, is actually how it. Ah, oh, damn! I gotta climb all the way back up. Oh, that was a. Ah, there were two guardian shields in there, and I missed both of them. That's what I tried to get the second time. Oh shit. Okay, there's nothing there. <laughs> I didn't actually know there was a platform. Oh, do I have? No, I don't. I didn't know there was a platform right there. That was basically in the middle of nowhere. Damn you, give me something. Actually, though I did not get anything. It probably, I still get that critical bonus. Which is not terribly useful, again, because it only affects his regular attack, but still. Bonus is a bonus, right? Alright, so I'm hoping I get the magma caverns right here. Because that is where I will go to unlock the survivor. Okay, good. Oh, magma barracks, I'm sorry. Now we just have to see if it's available. It's not available, fuck you! Uh, for those of you that may want to, you know, pick this game up and find out secrets! Eh, fuck it, maybe some- well, I kind of gave it away, but hey. Maybe some of you want to unlock secrets on your own damn time. I don't fucking know. Yo, fuck this guy. Flying enemies were created by the devil. That's all I have to say about that. Oh, I don't actually know what that does. For 14 sec- ah, whatever. I'd rather have my damage item. Gives me one more way to do damage and I can't complain about that shit.
Oh, I didn't make it. Oh, this one does have the relic available, but I have already gotten this relic as well, so no real point in getting it. Oh god. Oh god, damage. Oh god, the damage. I'm not actually sure why I'm sticking around and fighting all these dudes right now. I should be finding the teleporter. Okay, that's good. Actually, let me see. Does that? No, it doesn't. That sucks. So again, that's another thing. Dealing damage heals you, but apparently it only it's only damage done using his regular attack, not his, uh... None of his passive, uh, procket. Which, that sucks. Because honestly, the majority of his damage comes from his passes. Shit. up around here, that would be goddamn amazing so I could have a banner to sit in. I'm close to a level. Oh my god. Yes! Alright, let's go. I don't care anymore. Fuck jumping. I'll ball everything in goddamn sight. Let's go. Y'all think I'm scared? I ain't scared of nothing. I ain't scared of nothing. fun too. It's the only time I kill anything right now. I'll show you right there. I get this shield that does damage to everything around me. Making my tactic of jump around, jump around, jump up, jump up and get down even more effective. Until it wears off and I start getting my ass kicked. Where the hell are the other six enemies all up here? Oh, never mind, there's one of them. That definitely doesn't add up to six! Oh shit, they're down. Oh, another one over here. Somewhere. Two of them over here, okay. God damn, I got a lot of useless money. 
There really there isn't anything left on this stage. There might be some shit down here, yeah. That's about it. Health gain though, can't complain about that. I will grab this drone for sure. There's no goddamn reason not to. Yeah, damn. I got nothing else. I mean, I got- I can go to that, uh, I may as well, because I'm- as you can see, my health is kind of low at the moment, so I may as well go grab- oops. That, uh, that random chance thingy. I forgot, it's, it's, so, it's just habit by now with Acrid to uh, lay that down and try to move faster when you have the chain whip. You actually move faster when you don't use that. Oh, is that it? Did I get something? I didn't know I got something beforehand. Well, shit. And then there's no- I'm 90. Yeah. Alright, well. Didn't have much to spend my money on there. Which is unfortunate. Unfortunately, we're going into the next stage around 30 minutes. I would have liked to get there at around 25. Hopefully, I can hit the, uh... Find the teleport within 30 seconds. So I can hit it before I get to the next difficulty. Oh, never mind. It doesn't look like the next difficulty triggers at 30 minutes anyway. God damn, look at that damage I just took. the hell out of there. almost killed me. Alright, so I'm gonna have to definitely do a lot of running. Eh. Hi there. Another chain whip. Oh, I'm sorry, red whip. I don't know why I thought that was called chain whip. It's not even a chain. Now that I realize that, it makes perfect goddamn sense. Okay, again, why am I? I'm gonna come back there because I have my uh. Because I have that shit there. But where the hell's the tell there it is? Oh, I missed it. Damn it, I wanted that teddy bear. Teddy bear's damage resistance. That's not very useful. Jesus. I'm gonna take this other drone. Fuck it. Give me the extra damage, I'll take it. Die. Alright, I'm gonna go back to my banner. Banner! I will probably be as safe as it is possible to be in this game. Oh shit, I'm not safe at all, 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 I'm not safe at all. I gotta get rid of these dudes that are shooting missiles at me. Shit, shit, shit. Please die, please die. God damn it, it's fucking chaos up here.
<laughs> There's so much going on. On the bright side, I am murdering some shit. I am getting murdered by some shit. <laughs> that did not go out very well. On, on the road. On the ropes. How much time I got left? Ten more seconds. Yay, another infusion. I'll get two health per kill now instead of one. You jackass. Dude just had to go and fall off, so now I gotta go find him down here. Oh no, maybe he's gone. Nope, not gone. He just managed to fall in between that tiny... Two of them did. Three of them did! Four of them did! What the fuck? These dudes are stupid. Oh, that's a ghost, my bad. Well, wasted that. God damn it. Did he go with that mother? Whatever, I ain't even mad. Perfectly fine with it. back down there, but I have to. I still don't think an elite enemy yet has actually dropped a, an item. So technically, if I really wanted to, and if I was being a particularly big enough bitch, I could actually just sit here and let him continually spawn more and more of his little four babies. I would be able to basically get as much health as I wanted thanks to infusion. Shit, I can't see. I couldn't really see anything. That was a mistake. I should have waited for at least a little bit. Alright, so let us go back around. Ooh, hello there. Uh, shit, I guess I have to fall. Falling doesn't actually matter. I think you take a little bit of the... Yeah, you take a tiny portion of damage, but not much. Not enough to matter. gun that could be useful I don't know if, again I don't know if it affects his passives but that basically makes it so the more gold you have the more damage you do and as you can see right now I have I'm gonna have a little bit over 5k left once I grab I'm not gonna have that much the piggy bank oh okay I'll grab another drone oops so I'll have around 4k left and I'll be getting even more gold in the next stage so you do have plenty of gold left over, so having that to boost your damage is quite useful. Oh, I also jumped significantly higher now thanks to that jetpack. I can do what I want. Ah, I wanted the scythe. Oh, that's good. That will obviously stack with the golden gun. More gold, more damage, can't complain. But the scythe does it, so every time you do a critical hit, it heals you a little bit. Oops! Damn, I forgot. Okay, we're gonna do one loop. We're gonna go back to a previous level before we go to the last one. I forgot that, uh, it's X to loop and Y to do, uh... Yeah, a little meter right there is actually... Oh my god. Holy balls. That motherfucker is not messing. Like, I'm doing no damage to him. He killed one of my dudes already, too. Oh, never mind. I think I already had three drones. Oh, 
god, it spawned a boss, it spawned a boss, it spawned a boss. Oh god, oh god, it spawned a boss. I didn't mean to jump up here. <laughs> I am so scared right now. Like, when you loop, it spawns some scary shit. See, like, right there, it already spawned another boss. Although, I'm actually gonna be doing kind of ridiculous damage. So, bring the boss on. Come on, Magma Worm, where are you at? I ain't fucking scared. I should go find the teleporter. Much. This is too damn much. Jesus Christ. Yo, look at them. They smashed my drones. Two of my drones down in like seconds. I'm not even attacking anymore. I'm just I'm just letting the passive effects go nuts. Oh my god! I don't even have anything to say, this is fucking insane. Like, part of me loves it when it gets like this, and the rest is just like, full-on fucking panic mode. Like, I can't even see my character right now. Amidst all the insanity. Alright, that's it. All we gotta do now is mop up. Alright, so honestly, I don't- Oh, thank you for that banner. Very well timed right there. I'm not gonna bother with that, because they're gonna jump off the edge, and they're gonna be kinda hard to catch. But unless- Oh, actually, what am I talking about? I was gonna say, unless I have an excess of money, I'm not gonna bother getting, uh... Eh. Uh, none of that's useful. I was gonna say, if I have an excess of gold, I would go ahead and grab the, uh... Eh. So those missiles may actually handle this remaining enemy form. It did not. Almost. Okay, before I continue with those, I am going to go explore the rest of this stage and see what awaits me. All of the chests. like you may need around 7500 that little tiny meter that you can barely see right there that show I believe that's how much uh, golden gun is charged looks like you mean maybe it's 10k a nice round even number all right cool I'm fully healed see so yeah, cuz like there's a bunch of things I could do right now to kind of like guarantee victory like I could continue looping until I got uh, like significantly higher max health um, thanks to infusion oops and you know and then obviously during all that time I would just continually get more and more items more and more powerful items as I fought stronger and stronger enemies and whatnot but it's not really 
it kind of takes away the challenge, obviously, when you just walk into it as overpowered as possible. Kind of takes away the challenge, it takes away all the challenge. I mean, even then, if you're careless, you can still potentially lose. But the chances of it are very low. Like, you have to basically be careless enough to stand there and just get hit five times in a row. Which, hopefully, nobody is quite that careless. That was a fast initial boss fight. damage or damage mitigation I should say yeah another drone <laughs> oh actually I think I can jump up here nope not quite might be able to with one more jump but four is not enough I was hoping I would be able to because of the jetpack. So what I need to be looking out for are key cards. And if I get any key cards, I can basically unlock certain rooms which give me beneficial effects in the final boss fight. Ow, 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 ow. Much is going on. Right, cool. Onward and ever forward. Oh, here's another secret right here. Although I've already gotten it, so I don't know what it actually. I, I think that unlocks a character, but I'm not positive. If I'm correct. Oh, hello there. So those are just regular enemies here, because they don't obviously you don't have a life bar status thing up at the top to indicate a boss. But then on top of that, they don't automatically drop items like they do usually. So I guess those dudes are just considered normal enemies. Ugh, I hate that. It always spawns a chest there, and I I don't know if there's some special way to get to it or not, but I've never actually seen one. Oh, cool. Additional healing, can't complain about that. Whoop! Oh, here's a key card right here. Oh god, everything's getting so chaotic again. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, I don't even know what passive effects are triggering, like if they're mine, if they're somebody else's. I just don't have a damn clue what starts happening when it gets chaotic like that. All I can do is just stare at my health bar and hope. I was hoping it's open, but I'm gonna go a little bit down here, because I believe this leads me. It did not really lead me to anything special. 
So I got another drone. I'm going to get an item. That was not the item I wanted. I don't know why I triggered it that fast. Oh, but there is a goat hoof down there, and I will take that. I want extra speed. Uh, I'll grab the secret one. Eh. It's not great, but none of the options there really were. That's a ghost. Yeah, another key card. God, look at that, dude. Like, now their health is just melting. And I love to see it happen. Um, you know what? I'm not going to get the Goat Hook. That gives me additional health regeneration. I would rather have that than speed right now. Because I'm pretty decently fast, whereas I'm really... I don't really have much going on in the way of health regeneration. I used the item, but I didn't see anything bouncing, but I'm going to keep that. The sure, I mean, the shuriken, it's decent, but it's not really anything special. So I don't feel like I'm... Even though I don't really know how effective the zombie brain is, I don't really feel like I'm losing anything particularly important. Yo, my drone army just tore them bitches apart. Ooh, and now I get a banner in here. Let's go! I'm taking huge damage from something. Please stop damaging me. I would appreciate it. I don't like being hurt. Did that do? Is that going through the door? That's going through the door. Awesome. Cheater. Grab the secret one. Not terrible. Not great, but I'll take it. Additional damage. Can't really complain about it. So I believe I have explored everything on this. Yeah, everything on this side I've explored. I just gotta keep going up a little, a little bit further. All right, I've explored everything. So now I need to- Ooh, God, my microphone just fell. Please, nothing kill me. Cool. Fixed it. Fixed it. Fixed it. We good. I'm getting a lot of those toxic centipedes. I don't know how good those are. Hopefully they're very good, because I have a lot of them. I should not have gotten that. However, that I'm going to switch out my used item for this shit. That one is significant. Look at how much stuff that just threw out. I could tell. Ooh, they dropped another shuriken. Too bad I don't want it no mo. Ooh, where's the scavenger? Ow. Oh god, other stuff is coming. Other stuff besides scavengers and winter is coming. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, I like that. I like that. Damn, I'm doing no damage to this motherfucker.
just see how many fucking enemies just fell off that platform? Oh my god. Okay, the frame rate's actually hurting because of how many enemies there are. particularly useful there, which is surprising given how many of those there were. Oh man, I wanted the one directly before that. It makes all my attacks explode, so every single one of my attacks would do more, a lot more damage. It's quite good. There are a lot of enemies right here. There are a whole lot of enemies right here. They just murdered five my drones. Take the. I think I'll take the med bay. I was hoping I'd find another key card, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. So many drones. Damn, where the hell? Do wow. Oh, could I have gotten in here normally? Oh shit, there's a chest right there. I'll have to go back around. Nope. The hell is it gonna? Sh okay, that's not too bad. going on guys how you doing melted them bro I wish I had a guardian shield if there was any one item that I could ask for and get right now it would be a garden guardian shield, but I am going to go ahead and bail right now. Do a little bit of extra shit, and I'm going to go back down to the med bay and grab that chest. Oh god, things are spawning. Another dead man's foot. I got plenty of dead man's feet. I'll just check and see. I'm fairly certain I should not be able to get into the cabin, but who knows? I may have picked something up. I did not. Alright. So let's just go ahead and move on then.
Oh, okay. I'll take that. I wish I had saved that, though. If I wish I had paid more attention to the status of my, uh, my experience. Because it would have been amazing to have the banner uh, inside of the boss room. But no real point now. There's no realistic way to level up again. mayhem and destruction for one damn day. So let's go see if we can't... Hopefully I'll be able to beat the boss. I just realized everything that I said I wanted to do. Get, uh, get the monster logs. Get the monster logs, get the scavenger, or the survivor. I didn't get any of them. I got nothing. I gotta do some hit and run here. Damn it, missed. good part about this is I should be doing some pretty ridiculous damage to the Gilded Worms once I hit them. With that... And now all I really need to do is just run. <laughs> like, just let that shit do its business and just run. And try to take as little damage as possible. Unfortunately, I've been getting hit pretty hard. I'll probably heal up right before the uh, last. Right before the final form. Actually, this isn't too bad right now. Like, I'm doing pretty decently on health, I'm not max. Excellent, that did a hefty chunk of damage, I like it. I can dig it. I think all I really, really gotta do is just stay up top. Kinda just like, you know, whittle them down. Oh god, he got the Blighted Providence out. I don't like Blighted Providence. Blighted Providence does things. I don't like it when Pro Blighted Providence does things. Oh, there are two of them? Oh, no, never mind. It's regular. Oh, shit. I gotta... Okay, this is dangerous. This, if I get hit by, I will be sad. Okay, good. I didn't get hit by it. That shit reduces your health to one. Immediately. Oh, my God. Don't stun me. Don't stun me, bro. Good, good, good. We're looking good. And then I take a sword to the face. Ow! The ghosts are doing a little bit of work for us, though, which is fantastic. You gotta love it. Oh, shit. Drone down. Drone down. Drones down. Blighted shit back. What are we looking at right now? 20k left? 20k left? The drone down. It's actually kind of useful when he takes my drones down because I get a little bit of damage off of bringing them back with the rockets. 
And since the rocket's auto track, it's pretty. Oh, shit. Shit. And since the rocket's auto track. I'm looking pretty fucking good right now. Oh, shit, he only has 4k health left. Yo, this motherfucker dead. I did it! I bait it! I bait it! Ooh, girl! I likes it. I likes it so much. I'm so happy. That's the second, that's only the second time I've beaten the game. So yeah, I definitely need to start playing this game. Because I've definitely gotten to a point now where I understand it enough. Um, to play the game on Monsoon difficulty. But yeah, so if these are enjoyed enough, I will definitely try to record more. But if they are not, then I'll just play this on my own damn time and screw you, motherfuckers! Yeah, but I'm still I'm very sad that I didn't end up... Um, oops, can I not skip? I guess I can't skip the credits. I am very disappointed that I didn't actually end up getting any of the stuff that I wanted. I didn't get any monster logs, I didn't get any... I didn't get the survivor. Because, again, those were the things that I got. Oh, damn, those are actually some very quick credits I haven't really paid attention before. Like I said, I've only beaten the game one at a time. Um, but, yeah, damn, that took me... See, why doesn't this work? Why doesn't Back to Menu... I'm hitting every button on, on, the, on the thing, and the only thing I can do is go here and then hit Return to Main Menu. See, this is all... There's still plenty of stuff for me to unlock. I still got other characters to unlock. Let me actually go check and see. Cause is this the same thing? Nope, the back actually works right there. So let me go see here. Um, achievements. Oh, I got that too. Whatever that is. Obtain seven monster teeth and one guardian heart. I got that the last time. Without being hurt once? That's too much for me. I'm not good enough at games to do that. <laughs> so let's see. So I need to collect 15 monster logs. Clear a path for the survivor and beat the game five. Oh, and I need to do this too. And beat the game five times. And I'll have everything. So yeah. Alright. Coolio.